Welcome back to Chess Who Talk MMA. Today, UFC 224 Embedded Episode 4. Uh, I'm doing Episode 5 tomorrow, uh, Saturday. UFC 224 Prelims. I'll be going on uh, live stream with live chat. After the prelims, I'll be going off air and coming right back on air with live stream and live chat for UFC 224 pay-per-view. So please, if you're new, like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you're a subscriber right now, please hit the notification bell so you're aware of those uh, upcoming uploads for tomorrow, episode 5, embedded, and also UFC 224 prelims in uh, pay-per-view live streams and chat. So, UFC 224 uh, Embedded Episode 4, they're still in Brazil uh, getting prepared uh, for their uh, big fights on uh, Saturday. Let's see the continuation of their preparation for this uh, UFC 224 card. Time to train to make the dragons spread their wings and fly. <laughs> Not only Leota Machida um, has these wisdoms of words, also his trainer or cardio vasculin trainer, whoever he is, also. Uh, Leota, I'm rooting for you. I'm not uh, against Vitor Belfort, but I'm more of a Leota fan than uh, Vitor Belfort. Karate's alive again. Cobra Kai. Watch that movie. I'm, I'm, I'm promoting it now. You can pay for it. The hard train already passed. It's time to just to to see some. Damn, is that them making sound? Is that them making sounds with their mouth, or was that actual movement of their? Their movements, because that shit sound like some uh, movie uh, implanted, you know, sound effects or some shit. It was, whoop, whoop. Probably the bad details and stuff like that. They move my body, keep my condition good. Let's get it on. Levantou. Isso. Vai para dentro. Agredindo. 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 So, mission accomplished. Now it's just time to cut some weight. And let's go. Let's see what's going on on Saturday. I mean, I know they edit the, you know, what happened in this, this segment, but he really do shit. He should have been cutting weight, shit. So, what do you want to work on today? I mean, I still feel my neck, but do you want to mess with it? I feel like just because of the, you guys are starting to cut weight a little bit. You know, it's like your weight's coming down, then you travel, so you're, you know, the flight itself kind of dehydrates you, yeah. you know what I mean? And I think it's just a combination, because everyone complains about necks, everyone complains about calves a lot. Yep, those are my two problems. And it's like kind of across the board. Perfect, let's do calf. You know, I mean, I've always kind of been one of those headstrong and physically, mentally tough to where it's like, oh, I've pushed through anything, and. <laughs> Then all of a sudden I'm like, well, that kind of sucks a week later because it hurts ten times worse. Um, but now, like, taking a day to actually take care of your body, um, all this stuff that Heather's doing. Be nice. Be nice. Yeah. yeah I do like that. Feel good. Shit. But um. I want that. I want some of that treatment. Shit. I mean, it's important. What Heather using? She's like she's about to have an orgasm. Then you're gonna come up at the end like, yeah, you got it. Who was that? Oh, wait, that guy with those sandals. Oh. Nice. Sound like a guy and shit. Beautiful. I was like, I hope a guy ain't wearing those sandals. You know, we came up on the rooftop, out in the sun. We wanted to just get out, loosen up, make sure her weight's coming down nice, you know, keep everything loose. She probably wouldn't this fight. I think she wouldn't this fight. You're trying to just trying to get out there and what you do so i think i picked uh dern for this fight i think man about to knock this girl out seriously I, i'm not impressed by dern I, I i didn't see anything dern did for me to feel like amanda cooper will have issues like hard issues i'm just saying 
You know, we keep the energy good up. Right? We're up here in the sunshine. It's beautiful. It's Brazil. I mean, you know, it's just it's the best. Man. And then bring it right over the top. <laughs> Fala um pouquinho da sua luta contra o Kelvin Gastelum. Até porque ele tá falando que tá pronto pro seu chão, né? Ah, não tá. Não tá. Se ele estivesse pronto no chão, eu deita no chão que eu vou te finalizar rapidinho, moleque. Mas não tá. É, tipo assim, ele tá pronto pra lutar, isso eu não tenho dúvida. Mas falar que tá pronto pro meu chão, ele não tá. Ele tá mentindo. Se ele cair no chão, eu vou finalizar. Então se ele quiser provar o chão dele contra o seu... Ele não quer provar o chão dele. <risos> Olha, aquela música mais não, mano. Pelo amor de Deus. Mostra pra ele agora, não. Não, mostra aí. Eu quero, eu quero mostrar, eu quero ver agora, porque aquela não. Ó. Cheguei. Cheguei, eu falei, aí eu postei a música do dragão, cheguei chegando. Falei. Não, essa não, essa não. Essa não é, não, essa não. Aqui vai Já gostei. Come on, Jack Ray. I like Gaspar, mano. Agora sim. Agora sim. Batida Karate. Ó. Oh, jeez. Hold on. Why that back? What do you say? For, for, first of all, that song hella hella weak, hella whack, and two, I guess he's got a little got a little uh, ermine in him for a minute, and, and thought he was a motherfucker. He didn't say motherfucker. He said motherfucker. That's funny. Yeah, but that's it. Evolution. Go. Yeah, he brought a dog to that motherfucker. Yeah, to the dog. Mas é a boazinha. É de ataque? Não, não, mas era mais, mais parceira. Vitor, me conta um pouquinho, mais uma luta no Rio de Janeiro. Ah, só alegria, né? Acho que não podia ser melhor finalizar no Rio de Janeiro. É, tô muito feliz. Você usou a palavra finalizar. O que, que você tá querendo dizer com isso, exatamente? Essa é a última luta, né? Tô, acho que já me doei bastante para esse esporte. Tem muitas coisas para realizar fora do octagon. Chegou o momento de finalizar essa minha etapa, né? E aí, better shit. Galera da Veja. Yeah, Harris got rid of that secret of ooze, which you know, pets. I call it secret ooze. He haven't been the same. Like, like he's been fucking deflating, declining. Rio, não perca. A matéria tá saindo agora e eu e a Zena vamos convidar vocês. Olha só, Zena, Zena, pretty, stack. Hey, stack. Come. Vamos lá, gente. Thank you for waiting, Mackenzie. Yeah, no problem. Your dad's gonna be there, right? Yeah. I feel like the butterflies in my stomach, like that nerve. Yeah. More because he's there, and I want to like make him happy. Uh, I know he doesn't want me to do MMA, so I want to show him like that. It's okay. I meant to be here, you know. But Dev, I can see he still. I don't know. I think I'm, t I'm, ch I'm changing my bet. I think she's about to uh, lose. I'm just, uh, I'm just be honest. I want you to go back to Jiu-Jitsu. Yes, he's one of my favorite fighters. Damn, she's about to... She's about to wet her panties. Thank you, thank you. There you go. She got her picture. <laughs> I can tell you that if it comes to 25 minutes, I'm the one that has the better cardio. I can tell you when it comes to stand up, I feel a lot more comfortable in my hands and I can take a punch. So Amanda can give me one punch, I'll give her three. Uh, when it comes to wrestling, I plan to out-wrestle her. And when it comes to the ground game, I plan to dominate. And cut. <laughs> 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 and the power went off. <laughs>
Which hmm. Dunn probably got a point. Prince Dunn probably got a point. This probably be a big upset. If y'all, <clears throat> if y'all some gamblers out there, uh, I think you guys should uh, take it like a G. Uh, no, 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 don't, don't, don't baby, don't, don't baby step it. Don't take a hundred or you know, one or two hundred, three hundred, five hundred. Fuck that. Put a G. That's why I should have did on uh, Holly Holmes' fight against Ronda R- 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 Rousey. I was thinking about it too. I'm, I'm not really a gambler, you know what I'm saying? But I was thinking about fucking uh, dropping a yeah man a whole rack on that. But throw a rack if you don't throw a rack on a uh, if you don't uh, bet on a uh, Raquel Pennington, throw a rack on there and you'll come back come up with some hella money because uh, she's a super underdog and she probably can do it. I'm starting to get convinced now. Prince Dunn. You want Spice Girls? Do you want Spice? I feel like no. Mm-hmm. No, I think, I think we should get. That's a good one. Oh, the slow one. What's the slow one? Because she loves the Spice Girls, and I have to do open workouts tomorrow. And so she said, if I don't hurry up and send her my music, she's gonna have me go into Spice Girls and Backstreet Boys. So I think I may just intentionally not send her music, but then I can blame it on her. Thirty seconds, Rock. Thirty seconds. That's it. I wouldn't even say it's about fighting for the title. It's just about fighting again and just getting better at what she does in her career. You know, I said to her one time, I said, "Hey, how much of this sport do you think is mental?" And she was like, "I don't know, ninety percent." And I was like, "Exactly." Now, how much time have you spent working on that? Five. She did a ridiculously good job of getting this right. She couldn't get on the mat, so focused her attention on her, on her mind. She's resilient as, as I've ever seen. It's been fun to watch. The funny thing about it, I was sitting there, um, you know, bashing uh, Raquel Pennington, and I went out. I went there. I went later on did my homework. And uh, which which is funny because I saw her fight so many times, but I I for some reason probably because I just not a fun of her because like she doesn't have like these impressive fights that I just did not notice that she she's been on winning streak for a minute, like she's she, she's she's not I, I for some reason I thought she had like one or two losses in between her other wins or whatever, but she's been on a fucking winning streak like she's not she's has been winning. So, you know, my bad for fucking bashing her. I mean, she does deserve a title fight, being that she's on a, like, five or six win, win streak. So, yeah, my bad for him is, like, you know, you know, super bashing her. Well, you know, um, shit. If she does all kudos to her, I, I just, I don't know. I rather see a big a big fight. I know if she wins this fight against uh, Nunes, which, like I said, I don't know. I still got Nunes. She's not gonna fight Cyborg. Cyborg needs to to finalize her legacy uh, by beating Manny Nunes. She don't need to fight Runner no more. Like everybody knows, she'll dominate with Runner. But her beating the person that beat Runner or one of people that beat Runner will solidify it. So. We just got to see uh, see what happens. You know, uh, I'm looking forward to actually seeing this now. For some reason, I'm starting to feel like Raquel probably uh, bring a fight. So uh, let's tune in Saturday and see what happens. Anyway, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Uh, if you are subscribed, you haven't hit the notica- notification bell yet, hit it now. Because to- tomorrow, Saturday, actually, if you- don't even worry about tomorrow. Saturday, I'll be going on live, and you will be, you will want to know when I go on live. So hit the notification bell. Uh, thanks, thanks for tuning in, and as always, people, keep it testing.